Aha. Może w lustrze. Hu, 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 hu. Chodźmy jeszcze w górę. O. Dobrze zrobiliśmy. Kolejna strona. Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, 
It happened just the way it was on that page. Ooh. Multiverso. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way, felt the broken ribs stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Ooh. The ranger's office was locked. I'd need a key to get in. Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened just the way it was on that page. I found. Came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights. In the office. I, I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. No, wydawał się już taki martwy, bardziej ale spoko. Did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand Ale mu tą girę wygięło, nie? Holy shit. Good boy. Ale tą girę wygięło, nie? sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Oh, proszę. Wiem, że tutaj coś widzę. Ha, ha. Instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Rusty!
Rusty. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. What the? F Please don't feed the animals. Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park fishing license. Obey. Spadaj. Jeez. Uf. A gdzie piesio? W takim układzie, gdzie jest piesio? O, oh, fuck. Co tam jest? Machine, machine. What? What the hell was that? I saw it from the window. I saw it. I saw something. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Oof. Just need a telephone call, won't you? In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens. But she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Dobra, bo tu ten nic nie ma, dobra. Musimy iść tędy. A tu nic więcej nie ma? Nie. Nic nie widać. Więcej termosików nie ma. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Ooh, the Lover's Peak. This is Kenya. Oh. Uh huh.
Two binds yet. Oof. Lower speak, ale ja bym tutaj do jaskini poszedł jeszcze. Kurde, jaskinia. Pięknie. No już się zmęczyłeś, Alan? Kurde, ile tam? 300 metrów tylko przebiegłeś. Już lep le lepszą budowę ciała niż ja. Kontycha, panie, kontycha. Nobody in Bright Falls seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry could tell, Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated, but she really tried to help. She was smart too, knew a lot about what was going on in the town, knew a lot about Al, even knew who Barry was. Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. When it came to women, Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. Whoop your eh? No, 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 just ten, no, no, she means. Wyciągnięte punkt zapisu, o nieźle. Bunnets. Okay. So.
Pięknie. Ciemność mi dogania. Shit, ok. Ała! Ała! Tu mamy kolejną stronicę, ok. I turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew, and more. I więcej. Termosik, nice. O, tu też jest termosik. O. Ok. Uwaga, niedźwiedzie. Aha. Aha. A ten, a ten, ten co to robił? Spin to win? Okay. Tu mamy low ammo w tym momencie. <laughs> Zobaczmy co tu mamy jeszcze. Tutaj coś? Tu nic, dobra. Uff. No jest zabarykadowane. Tu jeszcze coś będzie. Tu mam przesrane.
Okay. Więcej nie ma. O, tu pewnie trzeba przejść tędy. Dobra. Agent Nightingale didn't want to be in Bright Falls. These little communities revolted him, and he didn't like the trees or the coffee. He now knew that impossible horrors lurked behind the storefronts and smiles. He desperately wanted to turn the car around and just drive until he passed out or ran out of road and booze. But he had a job to do. He had a rider to catch at any cost. At any cost. Speak. Nice. Nice. I'll let him clear. Serve. And now we'll go to the